one. What's up everybody and welcome to the February 2017 channel update. Let's go ahead and jump right into it with the gameplay stuff. So Harvest Moon is going pretty well. Uh, winter was a little rough, but we got a lot done. We got the house upgraded, we got Potpourri, uh, Mary, you know, that's, that's the girl's name. In case you're not watching Harvest Moon, that's the girl's name, not, you know, that smell good crap that your grandma always had around the house. But anyway, we just finished year one. Year two should be way more exciting, you know, until winter time. But, uh, but yeah, Harvest Moon's going really well, and it's going a lot faster than I expected it to. Um, just to put it in perspective, and I think I actually talked about it in a Harvest Moon episode, but a lot of the other gameplays of Harvest Moon Back to Nature that I've seen have gone into, like, the hundred episode mark like i think one of my more favorite let's plays of it was like 118 parts and i still don't think they finished year three so i think i'm doing pretty well and those episodes were about an hour long as well um so moving on from harvest moon back to nature let's talk about banjo tooie um as of the last episode that went out we're probably right around the halfway point as far as the amount of levels go. As far as progress, probably more like 30 to 40 percent. Um, Banjo 2 has been kind of a difficult one because I'm not as familiar with it as I was with Banjo Kazooie, but I'm more familiar with it than I am with Nuts and Bolts. So. If we ever get the nuts and bolts, that one's going to be a real doozy. I might actually have to study that one. Maybe do a test playthrough of it. Um, I have beaten Banjo-Tooie, you know, three or four times before. So, I know my way around, but it's just been so long that I can't quite remember everything. Um, on the other hand, I have been getting a little burnt out on Banjo-Tooie. So, I have been weighing the option of putting it on hold right now. Maybe playing something else for a couple of weeks and then coming back to it. That is a very possible possibility. Um, I'm going to see how this week goes and if I can, you know, get back into the groove and feel it out, then I'll keep playing Banjo-Tooie. If not, next week there might be a new video on the Tuesday-Thursday slot. Uh, that's basically all I got to say about Banjo-Tooie is we're roughly about halfway done with it. So, I might just, you know, power through it. Or I might take a break so that I don't get too, well, for lack of a better term, burnt out sounding while playing it. The next big gameplay thing to talk about is... I did... A stream on night one of Resident Evil 7 or Resident Evil Biohazard, whichever you prefer to call it. And, you know, that seemed to go really well. I'm really, really, really enjoying the game. Like, it's, it's like legit, like made me giddy. And I really want to continue it, but I didn't feel right about starting it on a stream and not continuing on a stream. So I've decided that Resident Evil 7 will be be the stream game it might not be the only stream game and i'll get to that in a second but it will continue exclusively on stream and when i say exclusively on stream i mean that i'll be playing it on stream and then you know the vod or video on demand or vod will be available you know when it becomes available much like part one was um I also have not spoiled it. There's tons of gameplays out there. There's all kinds of reviews and articles and spoiler videos and all that. I have avoided them all. Like, I've watched one playthrough of it, but I have not watched past where I stopped at. In fact, I stopped about 30 minutes before before it got to where I was like the uh, actually it stopped right after the the fight with Jack in the garage with the car 
So that's where I stopped watching it, and I'm not going to watch any more until I play further. All right, from there, it's time to talk about stream stuff. And there's a lot to talk about here, because there's actually something to talk about now. Um, first thing, I've been doing some streams, like the Resident Evil 7 stream, and they've been going really well. Like, I've had a lot of positive feedback from them, a lot of new views, a lot of new subscribers came from it. So, definitely going to keep streaming, um, but... I'm going to be regularly streaming, and by regularly, I mean I'm shooting for three to four times a week at least, over at stream.me slash zombieexy. And hopefully I put that, you know, like right here in editing. Before I go any further, that's not to say that I won't still be streaming on Twitch and or YouTube. Or I might even do all three simultaneously. It all kind of depends on the content, but without a doubt, I will be streaming regularly three to four times a week, at least, at stream.me slash zombieexy. So, that's where you can find streams. Alright, so here's another big thing about Stream Me other than the regular streams. When I get more than 50 followers over there, I'm going to be doing a Steam Mystery Game giveaway. So, if you want to have a chance of getting a Mystery Game on Steam... Make sure you head over there and hit the follow button. It's the one that looks like a heart, like up in the top right corner, somewhere around there. And, you know, the faster we can get to 50, the faster you might can get that game. So tell your friends to go follow, tell your moms, uncles, neighbors, teachers, everyone. Just, just go tell everyone to follow. Like I said, there might still be some streams over here on YouTube from time to time. Probably still going to do some on Twitch here and there. But the main one is going to be Stream Me, and the VODs from Stream Me will be made available on this YouTube channel a couple of days, you know, a couple of days later. Um, but that's pretty much all there is about streams for now. Um, special projects. Not really anything going on special project wise. Um... Pretty much just getting everything lined up for convention season, because, you know, that's coming up soon. Um, other news. All right, this is a big one. Um, I'm going to preface this by saying when I launched this channel, the Zombie XE channel, not the Triforce of Chaos channel. When I, watched, when I launched the Zombie XE channel, I was kind of making it a point to keep everything... As far as, like, language goes, like, PG, like, no cussing, no major sexual innu innuendos. So, some stuff slipped through here and there, and to me, it wasn't really a big deal. And, you know, if it was a big deal to anybody that was viewing, sorry, but I'm not going to be putting forth so much of an effort to censor myself anymore. And a big part of that is... When I was trying to be mindful of what I was saying, like trying not to say fuck or shit or anything like that, I was focusing more on not saying that stuff than either talking about the game or having energy while talking or, you know, just being entertaining in itself. Um, and that, that, that's just because it's not me. I'm, I, I say fuck a lot, okay? I fucking say fuck a lot. Uh, it's a little bit easier to avoid that when I'm kind of following a script or, you know, some bullet point notes like I am. But when I'm doing live commentary and all that, it's kind of hard to be like, yeah, fuck that guy. Oh, nope, I'm not supposed to say fuck. I gotta say, yeah, screw that guy. You see how there's like a massive change? Even while I was scripting it right there, there's still a massive change in the inflection and my emotions behind it. And after considering it for a long time, like I've been considering this for like two or three months, but I finally decided that it's, it's not me and it's affecting the content in a negative way. And if saying fucking shit and all that stuff affects the content in a negative way to some people, I'm sorry, but I gotta... I gotta be, you know, I gotta be me. 
which hopefully will make the content better in the long run. Um, so, yeah, basically language in future content may or may not be PG. It's going to be a lot more unfiltered. Moving on from there, um, I am working on getting brand new shows, which I've said in the last update, working on getting that content built up and, like, stocked up ahead of time so that, like, I'm not in such a rush to be like, oh, it's a new week, I gotta get this new video out. Whereas, since this content will not be such time-sensitive content, I can do it a couple weeks ahead and it still be okay. But I'm working on getting that built up so that there will be videos every single day of the week instead of just Monday through Thursday. And, um, let's see. Next on the notes is... Oh, yeah, that. Big thing... Be sure to head over to the Universal Nerd Facebook page, links in the description below, and give them a like, and, you know, make sure that you follow and all that stuff, because on this coming Wednesday, February 15th, I will be doing a special, sort of exclusive, gameplay live stream on their Facebook page. I'm going to have a couple of, hopefully, surprises if they work in that stream, so... Be sure you go give them a like and make sure you tune in for that. I'm not sure of the time yet, but it will definitely be in the evening. More than likely, like, 7.30, 8 o'clock at night uh, Eastern Time, which would probably line up good with, you know, like, West Coast Time. It would be like 5 o'clock there if it's 8 o'clock here. So, uh, yeah, make sure you... Keep an eye on their page, because the time will be announced there. And finally, before I go, I want to give a huge thanks to Catalyst Mints for sponsoring this video. Catalyst Mints actually have helped give me the energy to stay up late editing videos and developing that new content that I talked about earlier, which will hopefully make the channel better. Uh, they're also making it possible for me to do more giveaways on the streams like the one where I get 50 followers on Stream Me. And on top of all that, they taste great. Like, for real, they taste great. So, if you want to see more giveaways on the channel, more high-energy content on the channel, and grab yourself a great-tasting energy supplement, type in the address on your screen right now, or check the link in the description to get your own supply of Catalyst Mints. Once again... Thank you, Catalyst Mints, for sponsoring this video. That is actually all I have for the February update. So, if you made it this far, thanks for watching, and hopefully you check out all the other content on the channel. And I am looking forward to bringing great content that will probably have a lot more fucks in it to all of you people very, very soon. And on that, let's stop.